Today in Red Dead Redemption 2, we join with Dutch and try to hit that uh, giant box of money that Angela Bronte has been talking to us about and hopefully get a big score because we really need to get out of here. And we also, unfortunately, get uh, shot at by some O'Driscolls and we lose another member of our crew. Man, it is so nice to be back in Lemoyne in Red Dead Redemption 2. Being sick is not fun. I absolutely hate it. Of course, that goes without saying. I don't know anybody that enjoys being sick. What's this campfire do? Why are you chasing me? Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> the heck? All right, well, we're going to start off the episode. Uh, Miss Sadie needs some help, so let's go chat with her so that the Reverend can stop following me like a creep. I wish I could punch him. How you doing, Mrs. Zedler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? Oh my. Oh, what the hell have they done to me? Look, Kieran, are you okay? Everybody take cover. Boys are coming. Oh, the O'Driscolls did this. All right, well, wait, where's my. Oh, the wow. It's been so long since I played this game. Um, why in the world does it start off the quest saying, oh, I need to talk to Sadie? And then it's it's Dutch that I actually have to talk to. Unless maybe she's going to come along with us? I don't know, that's just very strange. That, uh... It's telling me, oh yeah, I've got to talk to Sadie, and then it's... We need your gun down there. Okay, alright, alright, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. How did they find us, by the way? Stay away from the windows. Don't answer the door for any strangers. <laughs> These boys aren't trick or treating. Can I get? Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get behind here. Any more casualties? Just Kieran. Uh. Well, Kieran wasn't really ever a part of the group, really. He was a an O'Driscoll, and we kind of recruited him. Wagon. All right. Got it. Don't worry. I got you. I gotcha. Wagon is taken care of. Unless there's guys in the back and then it's not taken care of. We're not getting overwhelmed. Look at this. There's like nobody left. Okay, you gotta fall back because we're getting overwhelmed apparently. Can I, can I? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, barricade the doors. It would help if the door was shut first, Arthur. Uh, you know, but whatever. Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. How? Like, did Kieran betray us? I wonder. Or probably not. I mean, Kieran seemed like he was a decent guy, especially. He just seemed way too scared to do anything. Maybe we'll find out. Uh, maybe we'll find out. Oh, somebody's screaming. I gotta go help her. Cover me. She's outside. Why didn't she get inside? Can I just jump through the window? 
be a cool person. Sadie. Sadly Adler. Do you need some help? Oh. Okay, well, she's got this. Wow. Do you mind if I loot him? Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We need you. Oh boy. Mrs. Adler is not wanting to get inside the house. How dare they? That's our boat. Me and uh Mr. Insert name here, I can't remember. Alright, let's go. Come on, get in the house. How many of Driscoll's? They literally just get everybody in the world to join. Deadeye level 7. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I am still kind of... I'm not 100%, so I... I oh, gosh. Good job, Charles. Um, I am still kind of coughing a little bit, so I'll, I'll do my best to try to take those out so... That's not annoying. All right, go, 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 go. Actually, I need health. I need food. Need some of that, yeah. We got him running. And now there's... Okay, we got it. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson. Would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. What we need to do is kill Cole. my life and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. She's lost pretty much everything, so now she's playing by the I don't give a crap rules. Uh, so yeah. Horseman Apocalypse. Good morning. What was that? Did Driscoll send Kieran's mutilated body to the gang? Yeah. Well, that was sad. Uh, so, that was an interesting quest for uh, Mrs. Adler. <laughs> Let's see if we can talk to Dutch. Actually, what, what else do we have now? Okay, so everything now is in Saint Denis. We could do something for Dutch. Uh, let's see, anything else? Like, I, I don't want to move on. I want to do as much as I can. There's one quest I'm not doing because I think there's nudity and stuff, and I think it's this one. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not planning on doing that one, if I remember correctly. Uh, so let's head into Saint Denis, and let's chat with Dutch. I am kind of surprised, as we head to Dutch, that we haven't go gone after Colm. Remember what Comb did to Arthur? Yeah, there's this whole fake truce thing. Arthur got kidnapped. Almost killed. That, And then they're like, oh, you know what? That's fine. Forgive and forget. Let's move on. And then Comb hits us again. Kills Kieran. Kieran? 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 I think it's Kieran. And Dutch doesn't want to, like, retaliate? I mean, come on. Oh, hey, stranger. Oh, I think I've done this before. You are dying from a poison bite? Help me. Damn. What happened Please. to you? A snake bite, I think. I need medicine. Uh, here you go. 
Horse, don't leave. Feeling okay. better? Okay. Oh, we just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh. Remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Why does my horse just run? I, I hate the horses in this game. Yeah. This one just runs away from me. And then this other temporary horse keeps following me for some reason. Or no, that's, uh, is that, uh, yeah, that's don't die. Don't die. Go back to camp. What are you doing out here? Come on. You shouldn't be following me. Whoa, lightning strike. That's really cool. I think that's the second time I've seen that in this game. That's really sweet that they actually put that in the game. All right, Dutch is around here. He's in the Fontana Theater? Uh, okay. I guess I need a ticket, yeah. Oh, thank you kindly. What in the world is Dutch wanting to meet into a, in a, oh, no, okay, not there. In a theater for, maybe so we can talk quietly or something? Dutch. Wait, is Dutch even in here? Tell you a morality tale from when our country was young. Well, you know, we're here. Let's <laughs> sit and watch. I'm getting my 50 cents worth. There. One summer, a bear was by the stream. An old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land and gorge yourself on fish and meat and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad, but he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. All right, man, learned something new. Had no idea that's why bears hibernate. Huh, because the wind told him to. Well, Dutch is not in here, so maybe he's on the other side. That's kind of cool, though. I've never, I've never seen a little theater thing like this. Look at, there's a line outside, too. Man, are you guys getting, is there a, a premiere I don't know about that uh, you guys are all... Is the new Marvel movie coming out? Oh, maybe not. All right, Dutch, where? Oh, he's got to be on the other side. Yeah, there's Dutch. Okay. And Lenny. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. <sighs> We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. 
I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Oh, yeah, let's put on our masks Ladies right outside. This is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, all right, what am I? We just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. Oh, Rob, okay. Ain't worth that. Now, I see a flaw in Dutch's uh, plan. Uh, I doubt the Tahitians use American money, so our money that we're all stocking up is not going to be any useful there. <laughs> Unless maybe, you know, who who knows, maybe they uh, will convert it all before we uh, get there. Maybe on the boat, there's actually, you know, I don't even know what you would call it, but where they exchange money. Who knows? Of course, of course, just take it. We're getting barely any money. Is this really the What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Come on, buddy. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. But hey, what am I? Don't move us. You don't want to hurt us. Can you get this open? Yeah, sure thank you. Check the safe. Yeah, I'm checking. Sure. Get the what? Am I cracking it or is open he it. Oh, okay, okay. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's like ten dollars. Yeah, not very much. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. <laughs> you know, gentlemen, something! We try. We try. Follow me, gentlemen! The cops in this game are super fast to respond. All right, now we're shooting cops, and this is great. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna be able to welcome in Sandini anymore. My bounty is gonna be giant, huge. Do I need to get in? Uh, oh, X to swap. Okay. How did he know we were gonna hit it today, though? Unless maybe he just told him, hey. Oh, I didn't need to switch. Maybe you just told him, hey, there's they're probably gonna hit it soon. So keep some guys. Swap some. Angelo Bronte got to the trolley as well! Oh man, how did he know? Yeah, this did not go well. Not well at all. And we are in so much trouble. Follow le Where, where's my hat? Oh no, guys! Hold on, we can't leave. I need to find my hat. Guys, what happened? Oh, there. Oh, thank goodness. It's all right, guys. We uh, we dodged a bullet. We can leave now. I got my hat. All right, come on, let's go. I might need to drink some health potion here in a little bit. Or no, it's not potion, but there is a lot of cops in this town. Uh, Arthur, can you hit him, please? Thank you. Onto the streets. We need to get some horses and get out of here. Uh, why don't we take the carriage and get out of here? Are, are we falling back? What, where are we? Uh, oh, there's a guy in front of us. Uh, shoot you a couple times. 
shoot you in the head. Okay, let's go. Keep moving. Yeah, for, for a situation like this, it's... Well, I mean, Lenny's good too, but... Since it did turn into... You know, just a bunch of murder and killing... Micah might have been good for this. Because that's what Micah loves. And he enjoys. Oh, guys, hold on. Time out. My hat again. My hat got blown off. Here we go. Wait. Is that a... Is that a different guy's hat or something? Like, why did it... Uh... Oh, inside the wagon. All right, let's go. My hat fell off again? All right. No, that's not mine. Uh, here. Okay, let's go. Quickly! I'm getting inside, chill. Oh, am I supposed to... Oh, I'm, I'm getting up here, I think. Are, are you gonna drive? Let's go! What's going on? What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, game? Uh, I'm inside the carriage. Why isn't it letting me... Go! Get up! Get up! Okay, you know what? Let's just get on. I'm on the wagon! Oh, Lenny's dead. Okay, let's try the wagon thing again. No idea what the heck happened. Why wouldn't... Uh... Let's get, out of here, Arthur. get on the wagon. I am on the wagon. Oh, okay. I guess I was supposed to be in the... Front. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. Whatever. Looks like they ain't giving up yet. Bam. See, I think the main difference between us and Angelo Bronte. Pretty sure Angelo Bronte's a uh, criminal as well, but he's in with like the mayor and everything, so he can keep the cops off of him, and he kind of does stuff under the radar, whereas we're like, oh, let's rob a bank! Oh, man! You know, you can't really sweep that under the rug. So, you know, Dutch is not not thinking large enough, I'll say that. They blocked the road. Hold on. Use this. Uh, use... Use what? Oh. Try to shoot it Got it! $165 bounty. Of course, I got the money, so it's fine. What was the take, gents? Like a hundred bucks? You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He <laughs> set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. I heard about a uh, a pantry where they stored a little bit of money. Maybe we could loot that. Might get another fifteen dollars score. That'd be amazing. All right, what else we got on the map? Oh well, I definitely need to pay off my bounty, so I'll probably go into. 
Oh, it's everywhere. It's not just Saint Denis. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and go into Rhodes and pay off my bounty. Wow, I've got actually more money than I thought I did. I've got three grand, man. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what I should spend this on. I, I mean, I guess maybe I could get some more, some better guns. Maybe I don't know. There's, there's, or a horse. Not really sure what you, what all you could use money on that would be worth it in this game. So let me know down in the comments. Are there any bounties? I don't see anything there. I did pay off my bounty, so I'm bounty free. Nothing really left to do, so I guess we're just doing main story with the Dutch. So let's head back to camp. Actually, there is a coach robbery that we could do, so let's go ahead and do that with Micah and... Uh, it said Bill, I think. Let's see what we can get here. Maybe this will be another nice score. Uh, where exactly are we supposed to go? Micah's not here. Bill's not here. What the... There's Micah. What the heck? All right. What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want... Hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill, this is a death sentence. There's a good <laughs> spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamp north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an O'Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're your proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew. Just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos, for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellas. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. Let's cut across here. It'll be quicker. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Micah, what an idiot! That was so funny. <laughs> oh man! Who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask? Considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in. Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh? Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. No, that's different. See, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. <laughs> you got that right. Who you got your eye on then, Bill? Oh, I don't believe in attachments. Never have. You get soft, you get dead in my experience. Okay? Here we are. I am not liking Micah more and more. Coming through any minute now. The more the more I get to know Micah, the the less I like him. The more I think he is a threat and is probably going to be the dynamite that destroys our little gang. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Are you aren't we blowing the bridge or Oh, you're gonna this is going to kill the horses and everybody on it. You know that, right? Micah's just like... Why use a scalpel when you can just blow up everything? Here they come. You going to shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Shoot the dynamite as the coach rolls over it. All right. And... Now... Sorry, horses. I really am sorry. Oh, I, I, I shot the horse right in the head there. Oh, he's still alive! No, he's not. Sorry. That guy's just standing there! Alright. Uh, every- Oh, no. Sorry, I meant to loot you. See, we just blew up this- It's just- Micah's not a- Oh, hello. Micah is just a blunt- a blunt instrument, man. Alright, let's, let's loot him. No, she didn't want him to do that. <laughs> Alright, now let's... How is the stagecoach even, like, still here? How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Well, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. All right, what's the take? More than $15? Come on! And... Gang share, your share, $50. Okay, I mean, that's that's better than 15 So, not bad. Not like I really need the money. But, uh, alright, guys. I guess we'll call it an episode. Oh, a witness. Where? Oh, witnesses. It tells me on the map. Hello. Uh, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not witnessing anything. Is this your work? I just came across it myself. I'll smash your dick. <clears throat> no more witnesses. And the horse is gonna do its job and get rid of the body. Thank you, horse. <sighs> Taking it into the river. <laughs> Where the alligators, I guess, will take care of it. But guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next episode.